Okay, so hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I took this picture earlier, I don't know if I'm going to show it. But yeah, we're going to find some watermelons. And if I'm not wrong, watermelons are found in jungle biomes, which, because I'm the biggest cheater of all times, I use the biome finder and, damn, they're pretty far away. So we need to head to exposition negative two thousand six hundred and fifty five negative two hundred I mean two thousand nine hundred and ninety five. This is like four thousand blocks away. Well this is gonna be a long episode. Put all my stuff in there and we'll just leave all our stuff in there. We'll bring some weapons. A forced biome. Yeah, actually, on second thought, I got an easier idea. So, um... The thing is... Okay, wait, I forgot the arrows. <laughs> so, according to what the rate is... Eight blocks in the nether. I mean, one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. So, with that... I actually wonder, what does more damage? 5 damage? Oh! Damn, this almost does as much damage as my iron sword. And that, 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 that doesn't even matter. So anyways, in the nether, one block in the nether is the equivalent of 8 blocks in the overworld. Oh no, another annoying creeper. Yeah, so with that logic, I only need to- I miraculously survived that. Wow, I'm such a big noob. Okay, so we're gonna find some lava and we're gonna get some obsidian. Ah, here it is. Obsidian. Okay, and we're just gonna start mining. Slowly but surely. We're gonna do mining. So we need 12 pieces of obsidian to build the nether portal. That's, oh, that's honestly the smallest nether portal I can build. Okay, time to collect up the obsidian. Eleven. Wow, I I'm literally one off. Okay, I'll, I'll bring some extra, so I'll mine three pieces instead of two. Two more, so... Yeah. Okay, so we got thirteen pieces. Wait, I thought I got fourteen. I have like, oh, goodness graciousness, should I put on like new iron armor or something? Well, the biggest thing is, I'm really not going to be doing, like, you know, oh, oh no, not a creeper. Oh, great, I have to arrow him down. I got a surprise for you, Creeper. There, that, that... Annoying Creepers. Okay, I still have not had enough time to... What are you doing here? Okay, so I'll just put my... Diamond Pickerks back. Got the obsidian, we need some flint and steel. That's a must-have whenever I go to the nether. We'll bring some more dirt. We're ready. Onward go. Well, we'll blaze farm in the next episode. Okay, so, I'm gonna have to relook at the coordinates. So, um, <laughs> this is gonna be annoying. So we'll just say they're both X is 2,500 and so I'm going to have to do a little bit of calculating. 2,600 zero, zero, divided by 8 is equivalent. So we need negative 325. So then we're going to have in the photos, which is let me take a little look at it, 2,995. So 
So what about 2995 divided by 8 is equivalent to 374. So we got our x and z coordinates. Let's go. Tonight 
Okay, so while I was doing the time lapse, guess what I just found? Where is that ghast? I knew it was. That arrow would be right up that ghast. But I found a nether fortress. And it's kind of like a maze, but that pigman is helping me by staying around, and now I know where the exit is. Should not be relying on pigmen. And diamonds. Nether warts. But all I can say right now is, hey pigmen, um, I mean no harm, I'm just stealing your treasures. So we're just gonna loot this place first, and then I'm gonna go home. Because honestly, this was not expected. Wait, there's obsidian in nether fortresses? I didn't know that. Okay, so actually, I just thought of something. I will not actually be able to, you know... Hey, pigman. What's up? You don't want to talk? Okay, fine. Fine, be that way. I I'm still annoyed by that gas's present. Presence. Because clearly- Oh, my, my helmet broke. Oh, not surprising at all. Judging that it should probably be broken by now. So there aren't any more chests left. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh. Where did that loser come from? Honestly, where did that loser come from? Okay, so the entire place has been looted. I'm gonna take a chest and I'm gonna place this chest by the exit. And I'll place all my stuff. Oh my god, that pigment scared me for a second. And we're just gonna have to find the exit, basically. Oh, the exit, the way I came out, came from... Yep, there it is. It's, it's a, it's convenient that I decide to mark the exit with a place called exit, because I didn't want to get lost. Man, getting lost in the nether is the least of my worries. Um... I'll place my valuables in there for now. Yep, there we go. All my stuff that I'm not gonna need at one until I come back. So... Okay, so I was trying- yes, I need to go in this direction. Means that I can theoretically use this fortress. Ah. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to do a little bit of exploring before, um. This nether fortress is huge. I'm gonna have to, like, explore some other time. Because clearly. I won't be having enough time right now. So I'm really just gonna have to try and get my quickest way out. Oh man, I'm not gonna survive this fall if I fall. So scary doing this. At least make it a little bit nicer with the walls. So now I can't really fall off unless if I purposely decide to jump. For a second I was like, Better be ready for whatever is in there. Nope, just bricks. I don't know an enemy was gonna be here. So. Um, let me check the coordinates again. Good thing I backed up this world just right now. And the coordinates is 325, which we have actually reached. So now we need to get our x-axis to, um... Yeah, I can't even show you because my screen recorder doesn't show the mouse, but basically, where is that exit? 
Yes, so here it is. Okay, so I'll just put a little sign that says jungle. Should I just solid time lapse from here, I guess? Here on out, pretty much just time lapse, nothing else. So, see you then. Well, once we get to the really end, once we finally make it to the jungle. Uh, until then, it will be see ya. Oh, while I'm here, I should probably also bring on some food. I don't really have much. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll do a time lapse. the nether portal. I am so relieved to leave this place. Okay, so according to the rust estimates, we aren't exactly where we need to be, but clearly I think we might just be about... Never mind. We are in the portal. What zombies. What a way to get greeted. Yes, we are in the jungle biome. The moon just started rising, I'm pretty sure the sun literally just set. Oh, I chose the best time to return back to the overworld. Anyways. The overworld reminds me of home. Oh. Oh, no. Not you. Annoying little, annoying little zombie. Okay. It's like home sweet home. Nothing has ever felt so good in my life. Then to experience the following of feeling home back in the overworld. No more annoying pesky netter people, I mean zombie pigmon. Okay, now we just need to find some melons and then we can really go home. Nope, I am just literally finding zombie after zombie. Zombie invasion, my friends. A, a skeleton wants to try and shoot me. Oh, god. Oh god. Good thing I exported the world so that I can. If I died, I had the world exported anyways. So really, I just have all my progress restored from when I entered the nether portal, basically. I still have a lot of food on me. Oh. Another one. Oh, great. Graciousness. What on earth is going on here? Oops. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to go in and kill it. It can die on its own. All I can say right now is Good God, there are a lot of mobs in the jungle. I was not expecting that many mobs. I can't even have time to literally look into my inventory 
before getting attacked by another zombie. Oh man, looks like I have to keep up high alert. We're also looking for some watermelons. Okay, kind of creepy. <gasps> watermelons! See? It's probably worth it. Traveled this far. Just to get some watermelons. It's probably worth it. I doubt it won't be. But yeah, and by the way, I'll probably try and get some jungle tree saplings. See if I can get any. The moon is now high up in the air. Are they not giving me their saplings? I legit thought I still need to travel like 400 more blocks or something, but I guess we're there. And we were greeted with the nicest overworld pests called zombies. Hey, I I'm still actually really thankful that these were zombies and not ghasts in the air. Because, you know, the overworld still reminds me of home. It is... I would rather the overworld anywhere over the nether. Like, honestly, who wants to be in the nether? Oh yeah, and there's an annoying zombie I need to kill first. Yup. Right there. Oh, there you are. Stupid zombie. Now it's just time to go home. Make sure there's no gas. And we can basically sprint home. I'm just gonna follow the signs back. It's a good thing I left the signs. I'm not attacking any pigmen because I'm already tired of in engaging. Many months later. Wow, it's not this way. Ouch. Fine, I just mind stay. Oh no, I completely forgot about this. My iron pickaxe is badly damaged. So I'm going to have to try and do the least mining possible, actually. Oh, wait. How stupid do I have to be? When I just realized I could have just done this all along. Wow. I did not expect myself to be that stupid. Yeah. Nothing felt better than this! Oh! Done. Wow, took me the entire night. Just come back from the nether. Oops. Quickly. It's home. I have never- Well, that's if I remember to. <laughs> um... So I guess it's time lapse from here. I'll probably still talk, you'll just not hear me. Mmm, -hmm, says that ghast.